Friday Family Fun Night, and we are celebrating National Candy Making Month. And I thought we'd hang around the fire and make some s'mores. And if you've made s'mores before, you've probably used some marshmallows and some graham crackers. Or maybe if you're high tech, you've upgraded to these square marshmallows. Well, we're going to take it one step farther. I've got some really cool stuff inside, and I have recruited my family to give it a try. We're going to see what some gourmet s'mores taste like for Friday Family Fun Night. Let's go. So we're making four different kinds of gourmet s'mores. The first one we have is what they're calling a nutty peanut butter. We're using a peanut butter filled chocolate covered cookie with a Reese cup where the traditional Hershey bar would go and a marshmallow. Our second one is a Rocky Road. We're using a traditional Hershey bar but we're using a chocolate cookie with macadamia nuts in it and topping it with some caramel which I boiled a can of sweetened condensed milk. If you watched a video before, you know you can make some delicious caramel that way. Our next one is going to be a chocolate strawberry. Again, traditional Hershey bar, but we're adding some fresh strawberries and our marshmallow, and that's going to go on a regular graham cracker. And then our last one, we're using some brownie cookies with some coconut, some whipped cream frosting, and a marshmallow, which will make the snowball some more. So we're going to see how this goes. So the most important part about a s'more is getting your marshmallow perfectly toasted. So as you can see over here, Katie already has hers too close to the fire. It's browning too quickly on the outside and won't be done on the inside. So it will definitely produce a subpar s'more. Shoot. Yeah. You got a blow. Okay, so we have our first marshmallow. This is going to be our nutty peanut butter one, which my husband will be sampling. So we'll see what he thinks of our nutty peanut butter with chocolate peanut butter cookies and a Reese cup. Okay, so he has taken his first bite of our nutty peanut butter some more. He is a peanut butter chocolate fan, so... Delicious. Okay. Now compare it to a regular s'more. Do you prefer the nutty peanut butter or the traditional? Uh, I prefer the nutty peanut butter. Okay. It has all the qualities that I desire and the dessert. All right. Though I think this will be significantly messier. Okay. Okay, so now we have Katie and Joe. Katie has the uh, chocolate strawberry, and Joe has the rocky road. So, see what you guys think. Oh, Katie's is quite messy there. Quite, They're quite messy. messy. But good. There. Okay, so the the verdict seems to be that definitely. These are much more messy than the traditional s'mores. Um, but Katie, I know your family history. Uh, we are traditional s'more people. Do you have a new favorite or are we going to stay traditional? I don't know. I'm kind of the outsider. I'm a big chocolate strawberry fan where everyone else isn't. So this is, this is good. It's a nice little sweet twist to it. I think it's better than the traditional s'more. Better than the traditional. Joe, how is your Rocky Road? Chocolatey and delicious. Chocolatey and delicious. Okay. Much more preferred. All right. So the only one left to try then is the snowball. Yep. Snowball. And I'm about to try it. So, AJ, how do you like the snowball? You know, I don't like to change anything. I like things the way I like things, but man, this is really good. Why is it good? The coconut is absolutely delicious. The chocolate cookie is good. Um, it's yummy. Very yummy. Is there going to be a, a new thing from here on out? Are you going to... Uh... Abandon the traditional s'more. I'll never abandon tradition, but um, you know, every now and again for a special occasion, we might be doing you know stepped up s'mores. All right. 
video. So I hope you enjoyed our s'mores. Have some of your own family fun. Toast up some s'mores. If you don't have a fire pit, I've been known to sneak over on our grill after my husband's been done grilling and toast a few marshmallows. And remember that our local parks often have grills available for you. And we have lots of other fun outdoor ideas. Just check out the library. We've got ideas for family fun nights with games, all kinds of projects. Just check out the library. We'll see you Monday for the Monday Menu.